everybody. Thanks for tuning into Border City Rock Talk, where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Before I get to my guest today, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get these great interviews and great interviewees. And leave comments to know whether you like this interview or you think I sucked. Anyways, without further ado, I bring to you Shania. How are you doing, Shania? Hello, I'm doing great. I'm I'm a little hoarse, so please excuse me. That's awesome. Well, I mean, that's not awesome. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> I told you it's gonna be funny. Not even uh, purposely, but um, <laughs> I understand um, that you're in Vegas. Oh, before we get to that, I always forget this. Um, what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe, subscribe. Do a should I uh, said you subscribe to the channel so you get these great interviews with great interviewees? Yes. Uh the one with Loverboy, Mike somebody. What was his name? Oh, you saw that one with Mike Reno. I uh, I I won't you know what? I won't tell him uh, you forgot his last name. That's okay. You're a busy, busy woman, for sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm terrible with names, but I'm trying to really start saying that I'm really great with names so that I will start being great with names. Awesome. Well, everybody knows your name, Shania. So before we get into what you're doing and everything, um, recently um, in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, Ontario, Canada, people, because this goes out to my American friends, um, as well as some people around the world, both of them. Anyways, um, there was a show about a week ago. I think it was Valentine's Day. Was it? Am I correct? Yes, you are okay. correct. Okay. Before that, you were in Vegas, and something had happened to some of the band members, and um, there was a big fuss around uh, the city that um, you were sick and had to be transported to hospital because the show was canceled. Can you can you uh, clear up what had happened there? You... Um, am I allowed to say shit show on this? Because yeah, that yeah. whole thing yeah. was a shit you show. You can drop the F-bomb if you want. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> As okay. you can tell, I'm still recuperating from, yeah. um, so we're in Arizona and Vegas and we have all these dates and we have such a, this wonderful new show with new band members and I'm so excited about it. And uh, so COVID starts coming into the band and I'm like, uh, like my fiddle player, she was hospitalized. It was brutal. And I'm thinking, okay. I'm, I'm getting away with this. I'm not, because I just got over it. I just yeah. got over it like a month and a half ago. So I said, oh, you know, I'm sure that my antibodies are like really working. And yeah, that's, can I just say that's bullshit? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> well, that's the way everybody <laughs> talks, right? Uh... Oh, no, it's not true at all. I got slammed. And uh, we, we, this, it just started a, a, a domino effect and we all just got super sick. I was fainting. She was hospitalized. I won't mention names, but the band, they, they were like in bed, not immobilized, basically. Yeah. Now, did we feel like we were going to die? Of course not. I have literally um, went on stage with blood infection and kidney infection my body was shutting down and i still went on stage and then right after the show i and this isn't this time this is like i'm talking about i will do a show however sick i feel and then people just take me to the hospital and i get uh and i biotics i stay there for a week and i continue on i've done wow. so many shows like that where and nobody knows i'm sick yeah but when you lose your voice you're done you're well, just yeah. done. There's nothing you can do. I had zero vocals. So I say, guys, uh, we need to move this date because mm -hmm. I want to do this date. Mm -hmm. And the Northern uh, so, Ontario girl. So, yeah. And so, um, long story short, we got this beautiful girl to sub in for me. She's doing sound check and she passes out. <gasps> and I'm, I'm like, what is going on so we had to cancel the show but it is moved now and i'm going to do it um april 22nd but you know what i don't know if i've ever canceled a show and i felt so terrible yeah. i felt so terrible yeah. that i could not like i said oh well you know i'll i'll go lip sing and tell people i'm lip singing and my my uh 
my drummer said, don't do that, please. Just, just don't go home and rest and let this happen the way it's supposed to happen. Yeah. And I said, yeah, you're right. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. That would be really bad. Yeah. But then I couldn't go on stage and just sing like this. You know what I mean? Um, I was way worse. I had nothing. Well, there's a lot of variables because if you went on stage singing where you're coughing, your voice is weak, you know what? You'd get that uh, one person that wants to make a name for themselves and write you this huge bad review, right? Yes. And not, you're spreading your germs everywhere, yeah. n- number one. And I could damage my vocal, my vocal cords for the rest of my life. Right. Because it was so raw and uh, so shit show. Uh, you know that we're glad that you're okay. Um, and my, and the other girl is okay too. She just, oh, yeah. yeah, she's, a, she's all good. And uh, I, I, we really don't know what happened with her, but she, she was not doing well and we just can't figure that out. But like we're all okay now great so yeah. it's april 22nd at the same venue uh Kiwana's, um uh community center the white pines yes perfect april 22nd guys uh put that in your calendars book off. you can't get that day off just book off <laughs> call in dead just it's, a, it's a saturday which is nice oh awesome and this one was yeah. on a tuesday although I'm sure it was so sell out or close to it because of Valentine's Day, right? Everybody's. Uh... Do you know what? I don't even know. I was just so disappointed, and then I went to bed for like four or five days and just slept. Well, I mean, That's you have to do that. And I was just going to say it's no different for an entertainer than um, a welder. You know, I mean, if you have if you're sick and you you can't go in and you're under the weather, do you want somebody? Uh, do you want to be driving on a car where the welder was under the weather? <laughs> His welder yeah. pulled and your car goes out of control? So. Yeah. And this virus was holy. It was fast moving. It was like, mm. bing, bing, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here we go. I, right. I did I did so well until uh, I did my show in Vegas. That was my last show. And I'll tell you, I need Sue St. Marie to, to know this and all the people there. I've been looking forward to this show for the minute it was booked Nice, because I know so many people and I haven't seen them since I was like 15 years old. I'm 57 right now. 15 years old. That's a long time ago. No way. So I was excited. What kind of water do you drink? (laughs) Lots of tea. Well, I know you own a spa, so that's why you're obviously healthy and um, you don't look 57. Like, honestly, but anyways, pardon me? Thank you. <laughs> I called him as I see them. Anyways. <laughs> um, so in case uh, somebody uh, has just been listening, <laughs> hasn't clued in yet. Uh, your name is Donna. Um, you're a Shania twin. But it's amazing um, that you look so much like Shania Twain. You sing exactly like Shania Twain. Thank I've seen you. pictures okay. where you're side by side. Nobody could tell the difference. Now, you. have you ever been in a situation where you're so busy, you look like Shania Twain, and somebody runs up for an autograph and you're like getting ready for the plane and you don't have to time to explain, you just sign? Has that ever happened or, or no? No. So the only time that that has happened where I did not tell them I was Shania Twain is when mentally challenged uh kids they're so excited and they're like crying and they go oh Shania this is like my dream wow Uh, I just leave it at that I'm not here to burst anybody's bubble and I know it's I know it's not being honest but but there's no way I'm going to stand there and allow someone and try to explain to them that I'm not Shania and burst their bubble no way I'm doing it. Uh-uh. No, absolutely. That shows no. your, your character because, you know, the old analogy, somebody says, I've spent all this money on this red dress. I feel really healthy in it. I feel like I look great. And what do you think? How do I look? What do you tell them? You know what I mean? Um, I, for one, would say, oh, I love it. That dress is just beautiful. Who wants yeah. to be that person to bring someone down and like these special no, and they feel good in it so who cares that's right 
It's like, like who cares? What does it hurt anybody? Why there's a, there's a certain point where you're honest that I, I would tell my sister or someone like that. If I didn't like something like somebody I'm really close to, I'd say, Oh, I don't know. I don't even think I would do that if she was like really thinking that this was a beautiful outfit. And like, that's not my job to break somebody down. No way. Yeah. Uh, uh. Confidence <laughs> is everything. So if you say they look great in it, um, they're going to walk around and they're going to, the confidence is going to exude. Maybe the dress will get nicer. I don't know. Exactly. Well, but they already think they look fantastic. So who cares about anybody else? That's right. It's you only about sister. them. I have a sister. She's my best friend. Right I love on. her. So I haven't born... seen her in ages. Sorry. I, I haven't seen her in a long time. I was supposed to see them after the Sioux, um, but uh, here I am. <laughs> so you were born in T.O., correct? And then you moved around quite a bit? As per no, your... I was born in Regina, Saskatchewan. Oh, okay. But then and I moved... moved around. I think I counted it once and I moved around 35 times. And that's because of family employment and that's kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. And then it's kind of in me now to be doing that. So um, my oh, yeah. parents uh, uproot us. And, and I say that in the most loving way, even though we hated it. Yeah. But we would go from province to province and uh, we hated it. But I'm so glad that I experienced that. <laughs> Excuse me. That's okay. You know what? We've gone about eight minutes without one. And you were saying earlier that you thought it was going to be a problem. I don't think so. Grab some uh, tea. Here we go. Um, usually I go into these long coughing fits. So I hope I don't do that now. Yeah. So I'm so glad my parents did that for me because meanwhile, it, it didn't feel good being the new girl in school. Um, people were pretty mean as they still are. I'm sure. Yeah. But, uh, I'm so glad because I am a really tough girl and mm -hmm. I can go anywhere by myself in the world and not even flinch. Like I'll just go. Yeah. Like I just am free to do those things where other people are afraid because they haven't experienced it. Yeah, you're comfortable in new environments, right? So comfortable. Um, so what was I going to say? I was. Okay. So you've obviously met Shania Twain. Yes. Um, on him, how many occasions roughly? And um, do you guys have any kind of a cordial relationship uh, or is it just you've met um, at venues you're both playing or is there, is that no. too much of a personal question to ask you? No, we met twice. And once uh, I was doing a show for Shania Twain days and Timmons can you hear me okay because yeah. i can barely talk okay no no we're fine and um yeah so we're at shania twain days and she tells someone to tell my agent that she wants to meet me and i went what <laughs> what shania twain wants to meet me and uh so we met she had this luncheon for all of her close family and friends and uh I went there, she invited me, but she wanted to meet me behind a stairwell. Well, I was losing it. I was so freaked out. And so I go there and I go in this stairwell and there's this tiniest, beautiful, little thing, uh, gorgeous. And I'm looking way down on her because I'm like 5'8 and she's either 5 nothing or 5'2". Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking down and I go, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was so starstruck. And um, she said something to the effect, because I don't remember the whole conversation because I was out of my body. And because uh, I was really young back then too. And uh, she said something about being proud of me. And I thought, wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It was such a, I, I can't like it's weird when I think back to those things so these questions are good for me because I look back and I go wow that happened it doesn't really feel that that was me in that situation because I was such a different person I was shy mm -hmm. and freaked out and yeah yeah it's crazy um in row I'm forgetting oh my goodness oh yeah so I'm going to put up on the screen here Right there. I don't um, see some, it. some um, quotes off of your website of Shania okay. Twain 
You can um, read them to me and I'll, because I don't see them. Well, you will when I edit the video. Oh, right? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put them up later. For oh, you, but, <laughs> but they're from your website and there's Shania Twain giving you kudos uh, and some nice props, which is amazing. So with this journey, obviously you've traveled the world. One place I was just amazed at hearing that you were, you played in Dubai. Like, I mean, they don't even have poor people there. No, it was crazy. Billionaires. Everybody, everybody is so rich. Yeah. And, and But it's still very strict. We, mm -hmm. we had to, um, before we went to Dubai, we went to Trenton. Uh, my parents weren't even allowed to know where I was. They d weren't allowed to know where I was going because right before we went there, somewhere close to there was being bombed by by whoever whatever and they were musicians as well at the venue so it was all top secret and and it was crazy it was crazy but oh, yeah. i wasn't scared i just went there and uh i i did tell my parents i don't listen very well because i want them to know where i am yeah but i didn't tell anybody else and um I bought, <laughs> I bought real pearls, earrings and pearls, and like five boxes of them for $12 each. Wow. You no, bought those was, there? I bought them there. Things are so inexpensive. So what are they worth here? <laughs> Is this a oh business Oh my gosh. Thing? Like hundreds of dollars. Wow. And there was this ring and it was a beautiful, I think it was a 10 carat it was a pink. I don't, I don't know anything about like diamonds and stuff like that. But I asked somebody and they said, you should get that. It's only $5,000, but here it would be $50,000. What's the, what's the cost of a plane ticket to Dubai right now? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You want to go into business? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's well, amazing. I did. That's why I didn't buy the ring. Cause I thought, what if they think I'm like, selling this stuff at home like i don't want to get i don't want to be put in their jail let's just put it that way yeah no i hear you it's a it's a strict country but oh my uh, god it's strict it's like singapore well i don't know if it's like singapore but i know one thing about singapore that stands out and this is i think it's still in effect if you get caught spitting gum on the sidewalk it's a jail term and I, i've seen this in dozens of periodicals oh. over the years it's like one of those ridiculous things like yeah if you're going to singapore dude don't be bringing your bubblelicious or hubba bubba. So. <laughs> oh my God. That it, it's kind of similar. Like um, you're not allowed to hold hands or show affection yeah. in public or I don't remember what, I think it was jail or you get a fine or something like that. Like you mm -hmm. have to be. And if you get found with being drunk, which is two beer, Mm -hmm. you're you get you go to jail you're done yeah I think who wants a, to be thrown in jail in another country i don't yeah i think it's a strictly muslim country i've got no problem with the muslim faith but yeah that is definitely um yeah. no alcohol is one of the things so um i also looked um i think on the third or fourth you're doing some shows um in ontario or no you go into the states and georgia but then i saw something on your bucket list which is my favorite country in the world, everybody that watches my videos are going to tell me, just quit talking about that. Shut up. I love Mexico. And you're going there from the 9th or something to the 4th of April? Yes. Well, I, I, mean, I, changed, I changed that because now it's the 31st. Okay. Because um, I'm actually going home to Sudbury on the 1st of April to do a show there. Mm -hmm. And that's where my whole family lives. So okay. I cut my... Uh, Mexico trip short so I'm going from say the 5th mm -hmm. to April 31st my man and I went last year for three months wow. and I worked I worked in that time as well so I have jobs out there but uh we are actually thinking I'm sorry mother that if you watch this you're going to hear this um but we're going to move there next year that's the goal well Mexico is a great country everybody's got this thing about beheadings i mean things happen everywhere i I've, I've been to acapulco mexico city puerto vallarta cancun you name it a backpacked and it's just a beautiful country oh, i i just love it and we're going we go to this place it's in the yucatan it's called shishalu mm -hmm. and uh, so we're this time we're going to chaburna 
And it's just these small little fisherman towns. We love it so much. It's just amazing. And we're, we're located right on the beach Yeah. when nobody is around. And we're like, yeah. Yeah. So everybody subscribe to the channel because when I get over a thousand, that's when I make money. So I'm saving up for my retirement to move to Mexico. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, 100%. so, okay. So April 22nd, you're doing that show here in the Sioux. What is, um, <laughs> you must get this. I know you do some covers, but what is a couple of your favorite Shania songs to do, but you don't usually put them in your set list. It's, it's, oh. it's one of those rarities because everybody wants it's to hear those songs. Easy, easy. When, when, unbelievable, oh, okay. unbelievable song. But yeah. we actually usually do put it on our set list. <laughs> Sorry, okay. but we can't. But we can't anymore hmm. because she has too many songs now since her new album. So we have to leave some songs out. But when is my favorite? It's I. I think it's my whole band's favorite, actually. Okay. Yeah, um, it's amazing. My favorite song that she did, I don't know if you do it in your set list, is uh, You Win My Love. It's the one where she's in a go-kart in that video. Yeah. Yes. I think that was really good. And, and a lot of, uh, I mean, she was married to to John Mutt Lang. And um, I, I definitely think that she was a definite game changer in the industry. But I think yes. John had a lot to do with it as well because he produced Def Leppard and all those things. So, I mean, you must just just actually what type of music did you grow up listening to well can i just interject with that because yeah. a lot of people think that without Mutt lang shania would be nothing oh i don't think that no but i just want to say that most people do they said without Mutt lang she like she was the songwriter and she had everything to do with producing that album as well which is mm. amazing because a lot of people didn't know that okay and uh, yeah, she's like a huge songwriter and uh, she produces uh, a lot of the stuff. Like it was definitely a collaboration. Mm -hmm. So now with his Def Leppard ACDC background, that's where all the vocals come in and the, you yeah. know, the crazy stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. No, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. And uh, Shania, if you're watching, I know you watch my channel, uh, Shania Twain. <laughs> um, we're not... Uh, Saying that you had no, I was just making just a record I, I because it's were. a rock channel that yeah. uh, John was involved as well. So, uh, yes. what kind of music did you like growing up? Rock and roll for sure. ACDC, Def Leppard. Um, yeah. I love Marianne Faithful. I love Susan Tedeschi. Um, well, obviously, your favorite band is Lover Boy with Michael. Uh, oh my Jackson. gosh, I, I love Lover Boy. No, yeah, you have sure. no idea. Lover Boy, April Wine, Lover Boy. The kid is hot tonight. Oh yeah, working for the weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everybody's working. I can't sing right now, but oh, no, it. that is that is so awesome. Um, so you also have a spa. But you, I guess you're only able to pay attention to that or not pay attention. What kind of word is that? You um, you give that probably to a management team when you're on the road or family or coworkers? Yes, I have to kind of depart. For, I love it. It's it's so amazing. And I book all my people in usually when I'm around. Mm -hmm. um, but if I'm not, yeah, we, we deal with it. It's all good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, won't keep you too much longer. Just got a couple uh, little quirky questions. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I said that either, quirky. Because um, <laughs> I'm quirky. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm getting your germs here. No. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> you've opened for the Dixie Chicks. Yes. How was that? Actually, no, I think they're the Chicks now. Remember that? Are they called Chicks now? You didn't hear about that? No. When the whole woke thing happened about two years ago or three years ago, Dixie was um, one of those words that down south had some negative con connotations. Oh, brother. Now they're called the chicks. I swear to God. Oh, my gosh. Can we get over the politically correct, please? <laughs> yeah. Can we? For sure. <laughs> like, can we just not be? Yeah. No, unless, it, unless it's blatantly... Obvious. Like and in your face, rude stuff. That's a whole other show. Can we yeah. stop? Let's just be. I know. It's too much. Just... 
It's is that true. literally is true? So wow. when, you, when you get off this, you can Google it. And you know what else is true? Um, you remember a Canadian show called Buzz with Mr. Mo and Darren Jones? No. Okay, they were on Much Music, but they had their show called Buzz, right? Well, it was a comedy show. But anyways, they went to Amsterdam, okay? And they had figured, found some information. So they would they thought they'd help the, 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 the city out. So they were standing around on this little bridge. And um, people would walk by and they had this petition to sign to change the name Amsterdam. Because it was apparently, this is another woke thing. It was offensive, right? Dam, Amsterdam. Oh, come on. Then they wanted to change it to guess what? The, the city council there. Amster. Amster darn. Oh, come on. Get, God, you're, you're making me upset right now. God. No, I was joking on that one. But the first one was true with the Dixie Chicks. It's the Chicks, but there's no Amster darn. Bad. I believed you. Naive. Yeah, well, Gullible, not naive. Gullible. No, no. I, I get a lot of people with that one. Trust me. But <laughs> anyways, um, it's been a super pleasure. Uh, Wait, uh, I need to introduce you to someone. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, my my guys are gonna roll their eyes and say, "Oh, come on, Donna." Okay, so I have to introduce you real quick to my best friend, and you're gonna love her. Um. Oh. <laughs> dropped your phone. Her name is Rosie. Oh my God. She's is that awesome. a, what kind of guitar is that? Is that a, is That's that a, a Jackson, baby. It's a Jackson. Oh, my God. Yeah. A lot of the interviewees. Oh, oh play something. Come on. Okay. Can Casey. you hear that? No, I can't hear Probably it. Probably not, eh? I heard it earlier, though. When you first picked it up, I could hear it, but I couldn't hear it then. Looks like I made it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my new girl. That's what I'm going to, uh, I've only played a few shows with her because I just learned how to play guitar. Yeah. And so this is Rosie. That's beautiful. And your voice, no problem there, obviously. Um, that was just great. And uh, wow. Thank you. You're awesome. You are too. Um, Thank you. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll chat. We'll see you in Sault Ste. Marie on the 22nd. I'll be at the show. That'll be so amazing. Thank you. And I'll tell everybody there, subscribe. It's important uh, to subscribe and support our people. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.